Chen style Tai Chi was developed in Chen Zhaogou village in Wenshan County, Henan Province. Chen Wang Tin, the ninth generation master of the Chens, created the set routines of Tai Chi containing five routines of Tai Chi, one routine of Pao Chi, one routine of 108 styles Chang Quan, two people push hands, two people Nian Chang, and Tai Chi apparatus such as broadsword, spear, sword, club. In the age of Chen Changxin, the 14th generation inheritor of Chen's, he refined and summarized the Tai Chi and improved it to be Chen style Tai Chi routine one, a new Tai Chi routine two. Then Chen Shangqin initiated his son Chen Geng Yun and his apprentice Yang Lu Chan. So Tai Chi evolved into five styles, including Chen, Yang, Wu, Wu, and Sun styles. This program is interpreted and demonstrated by Chen Zheng Li, the 19th generation inheritor of Chen style Tai Chi Quan. It's over 20 years since Master Chen Zheng Li learned Tai Chi from his uncles Chen Zhao Pei and Chen Zhao Ku in his childhood, fully mastering the arcana of Chen style Tai Chi and with practice skill. He also writes books of Tai Chi Quan and advanced studies in Tai Chi theory. He was listed in the Chinese Personality Yearbook and was honored as National Martial Arts High Grade Instructor, International Tai Chi Quan Master, and one of the ten present Chinese Martial Arts Masters. Chen style Tai Chi routine 2, also named Pao Chui. Routine is major in strength, its inflexibility but also with yielding. Stamp at full title, dodge, stretch, move, scurry, jump, fly, relax and shake, all in harmony. Like the boa uncurls and the tiger runs down the mountain, and like the dragon comes out from the sea and the lion fluffs. Study Routine 2, based on the Chen style Tai Chi Routine 1, over the stage of stiffness, make the body harmonious, the whole body moves if one part movement, internal and external parts are accompanying relaxant and steady. Try to integrate coordinating the breath and movement so that it, it can avoid error in practicing routine too. Without relaxation and spring, you will be stiff, with hairy head and legs weak. The thorax fills with qi, the heart will beat quickly, you'll be out of breath, the lips will become black and the face become pale. It is against health and practice. You must pay attention to this. Before practice routine two, we can practice routine one for several times or do some basic exercises. After the qi is free, you can practice routine two. In routine one, the hands follow the body and the waist is the axis. Movements are compact, but operation is slow. Mainly experience the qi moving inside and outside. Mind leads qi and qi leads body. 
Movements integrate breath and pay more attention to reeling power. Give priority to ward off, deflect, squeeze and press. Assist by pull down, split, elbow strike and shoulder strike. Practice routine two with the basis of routine one. Without more attention to combination of breath and movement, in movement the hands lead power and body follows the hands. Footwear, footwork is agile, root is steady, power is integrated and full of energy. Give priority to pull down, split, elbow strike, and shoulder strike. Assist by ward off, deflect, squeeze, and press. Express the characters of routine two, which are quirk, firm, and rapid. In the first part, the basic requirements and methods. Before we study Chen style Tai Chi routine two, we must have the basis of routine one, which can change the stiff and clumsy power into yielding. Then the whole body is in harmony and coherent without break. Qi inner is full and enough with relaxant and spring power. And in time, the whole body is in harmony. We study routine two. We will not, in the case of lip, become black and face becomes pale as well as out of breath. These will do harm to the health so you must pay attention to these. Now we introduce the hand works of Chen style Tai Chi routine two, which are mostly similar with that of routine one and have introduced in routine one. I mainly introduce those distinct from routine one, such as Chan, Chan one hammer strike. Hammer strike is like point crotch, using parrying in point crotch. Turn around, hammer strike down. Another is Another is press. Press, there are twice for press. Point crotch is hammer strike. Advance and press down, it's press. Another press shows an dao cha, dao cha. Another hit by right fist stretch and press. It's hammer strike and press. And the third is tease. And the third is tease. As the movement ahead of Dao Cha, use the side of the fist to tease and hit. Tease appears here and Wo de Pao below. After drill through heart elbow, it's Wo Du Pao.
Here is a tease. The fourth is crack. Crack is Gao Biang Pao, the power of cracking outward and hammer striking down. The power releases by the wobble of crotch and waist. Stand, crack outward, or hammer strike down is okay. It is important to push out the fist by body inner power, not only hammer strike by arm. The fifth is crack, is crack power of left and right. They appear twice in Guang Pao Tree. And turn back face Pao. Change movement Da Zhao Pao in the routine movement. Have present twice above. So the clack, crack of left and right also can be used as crack and beja close. The, me the method of beja close by shoulder is that join underside. Don't stick out the elbow and fist. Fasten with shoulder. Use shoulder and elbow are coherent. If approached, use shoulder and close. If distant, use elbow. More distant, the hands are used. Now introduce some elbow postures of Chen style Tai Chi routine too. First, Ying Meng Zhou. In the heart guard fist, to hit the opponent's face, Lead by the body and collect power in the elbow. If distance, it can be in the fist. Stick to the elbow when it's near and stick the fist when distant. It's Ying Meng Zhou. The second is Dao Chi Long. Turn around suddenly, elbow up, which is named Hit Up Elbow. Turn around suddenly when running forward and elbow up to hit the opponent's face. It's Hit Up Elbow. Below are Syriat elbow postures. First is Yolan Zhou, flat smack. This has present once for stall in the routine movement. It's flat smack. Side swipe by outside of the forearm. Shunlan Zhou, arms put together, punch breadthwise along the, to the left and right, release the joint power inside the body. The third is drill through heart elbow. Just as the name implies, it is to hit the opponent's heart. Drill through means punch out. Release the elbow and power more far to through the opponent's heart. Make a round upper by the sudden power sink. Elbow stops here.
Before studying the Chen style Tai Chi routine 2, I will demonstrate the whole movement to make you see. Now to begin to interpret Chen style Tai Chi routine 2. It consists of four parts. Now I demonstrate the first part. Thank you. 
first part is from beginning to single whip. The individual movements are similar to routine one. One, prepare for single whip. Next, jump heart guard fist. Begin with slow movement. Move center of gravity to the right. Right hand leads upward. Left hand sinks, then throw off the hand, throw off again, turn left with a jump, stretch the right foot forward, then turn right. The hands change to fists. Change to heart guard fist. These are slow movements. Now fast movements. Single whip. After preparation, throw hands, stamp, turn down, change to fist, release power. This is heart guard fist. After heart guard, after heart guard fist, it's advance and slanting walk. The fists change to palms. Rotate. Then right hand leads right foot. Stretch hands, stamp, stretch foot, change to slanting walk. It begins from heart guard fist. Do like that quickly. After advance, After advance and slanting walk, change to turn back Jinggang Dao Dui. Turn right, the right shoulder and elbow sink. Turn and push palm. Advance, turn around, changing to Jingjang Dao 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 Dui. After that, relax shoulder and sink elbow quickly. Turn, turn right, push palm more quickly, then turn around. Left foot sweeps, turn around again, changing to Jingguan Dao Dui. Parrying fist below, hands disjoin underside, join upper, step, turn left, stretch the hands, turn right again, then turn left. Hands change to fist and left fist put in hip, right hand changes to fist, turn right, changing to parrying fist. The detail has been introduced about. Point crotch and cutting hand. Turn around the left fist with releasing power. It's point crotch, cutting hand, stretch foot.
The right fist presses down the left fist. Stretch right leg. The left leg crosses it. This movement follows point crutch after cutting hand. It's Fan Hua Wu Xiu. Turn left, upturn the hand. It's Fan Hua. Jump, point crutch. Cutting hand, Fan Hua. Wu Xiu is teasing fist. Wu Xiu is teasing fist upward. Bending and rising leg at the same time. Stamp at full tilt. Change to Yan Shou Gong Chan. This movement is quick. Up turn, then tease. Stamp followed by Yan Shou Gong Chan. The separate movements for this part. The separate movements for this part have finished. Now I demonstrate. Now I introduce the second part of Chen style Taiji routine two. It's from the first Yan Shou Gong Chan to Shotoshi Pijatsi. From Yong Cho Gong Chan, it is the second part. In the second part, most movements in the four part mainly cooperate the footwork, such as Da Gong Chan and Xiao Gong Chan. Fairy weaving at the shuttle and Dao Chi Long. All these isolate the footwork and positioning. The next part from Guo Bian Pao makes the waist as the axis. Really present the sudden power movement which makes the waist as axis. Movements are compact. Collect the power to the fist. After Yan Shou Gong Chan, the second part finishes.
we begin to isolate and interpret the second part. From Yang Shou Gong Chan, then turn back Yao Lang Zhou, which turn around to use elbow. Turn around as soon as bending and rising leg. Stamp and stretch foot. Integrating waist power and moving center of gravity. It's by blow power. This elbow punches sidelong. Punch forward quickly. After Yao Long Zhou, there are Da Gong Chan and Shao Gong Chan. They are similar with Yun Shou. Turn around and sweep the, the toe, advance and stretch the foot. Step twice to opposite directions. Then draw back. Step twice to the left. After that is fairy weaving at the shuttle. This hand draws back over the head draws back the right leg, hand upward from left backwards, stretch right leg at the same time, turn around, change to fairy weaving at the shuttle. This is the slow movement. One more time. Turn around. Yolan Zhou followed by Da Gong Chan and Xiao Gong Chan. Advance twice. Retreat twice. After that, advance and turn around. Change to fairy weaving at the shuttle. It's following step, advance three steps at first, then one step again. When following steps, turn around and stretch palm. Da Chi Long, the left hand shoots up, the right hand sinks. Raise single leg and turn around. Then follow three steps. And, and now do it again quickly. After that is Yang Shou Gong Chan. Turn around, move elbow in this way. After that, jump and Yang Shou Gong Chan. Yang Shou Gong Chan changed to Guo Bian. Punch to right. Punch to right three times, turn around and punch to the left three times. Although there are three times for each side, the movements are the same. Now I make a detail of Guo Bian. Guo is put together inward to collect the power of the whole body, then circled by crotch and waist. Separate fists to left and right. Separate 
Separating the fists brings sudden power. Downward power comes from hammer striking. So I do it first. Now I begin with Yang Shou Gong Chan changing to Guo Bian. Put together and draw the tiptoe inner. Move center of gravity to left leg, raise right leg and turn around, then raise leg to separate the legs. Turn around. Do that three times and then change to Shou To Shi. Retreat backwards, sink the left foot and draw it back. Pi Jiao Zi follows it. Heel raise and hands put together. Stretch the left foot. Centers of the fist are opposite. The left fist is upward. The right fist is downward. After that, after that, lead up. Raise leg and turn. Yang Shou Gong Chan. These are slow. And quickly, Shou To Shi. Pi Jiao Zi. There are two movements jointly named Pi Jiao Zi. Then, then Yang Shou Gong Chan. This part has finished. Now I demonstrate. Now I introduce the third part from Yang Shou Gong Chan followed by Kuang Pao Chi. There are three parts of Yang Shou Gong Chan. In this part, we mainly practice leg work such as heel kick to left and right of left rush and right rush and sao tang tui which consists of sweep front and sweep back after sweep it's chang pao tri it's to practice bei jai kao of left and right
now I begin to isolate and interpret from Yang Shou Gong Qian. Followed by Fu Hu. Fu Hu is a lower posture. Fists lead up. The right leg retreats backwards in a way at the same time. Stretch, turn right, sink right fist at the same time, then left fist leads up, then the left fist sinks and right fist raises. Turn left. Put together the left fist put in front of the crotch, the right fist put in front of the forehead. Look left forward. After that, it's Mom Gai Hong. Turn around and push palm. Raise leg, stamp advance. Turn around and push palm. These movements are coherent to do. Retreat to do fuhu. Turn around after pushing palm. Its yellow dragon churns water three times. Advance, put the left hand on hip, right hand changes to palm, retreat and cross, make a round in front, retreat three steps, after that sink and ward up, raise leg, stamp, then right hand is put on waist, change to left hand, stretch left leg, advance for three steps. Next is left rush and right rush. Move center of gravity to left leg. Hands put together and draw back right leg. Then right leg stretches outward. Separate the hands in front. Move, move the right leg to center of gravity. Draw back the left leg, raise left and kick. Turn around, right leg, right leg kicks, draw back the right leg, then right leg kicks. After kick, turn around, turn around to hammer strike, and change to Yan Shou Gong Chan. Separate underneath and change to Yang Shou Gong Chan. Now I do the coherent movements. Next is Sao Tang Tui. Move center of gravity at first. The hands press the ground and stretch the left leg straight. Sweep forward, then move center of gravity. Sweep by the back of right foot. Go like that. Cohere to do. Jump up and Xiao 
Yangshou Gongchen followed by Huang Pao Chui. It consists of two ward out power. Hands put together, raise leg, stamp, stretch foot, ward out, raise leg, stamp, stretch foot, ward off, followed by Yanshu Gong Chan. Do these together, sweep and Yangshu Gong Chan, then Kuang Chou Pao Tui. Turn around, change to Yangshu Gong Chan. We have finished the interpretation of this part. Now I will demonstrate. Now begin to practice the fourth part of routine two. Parts of movement study. Four. It consists of footwork of jumping and some elbow work. Now I demonstrate. Now I isolate and interpret from Yang Shou, Wang Shan. Followed by Dao Cha, Dao Cha. Turn around, draw back the right foot, stamp. Stretch the foot, raise the fist horizontally, left fist presses down, raise left leg to advance, then stretch right foot, right fist hits again, it's Dao Cho Dao Cho. Let's do these together. From Yang Shou Gong Chan, draw back, stamp, release power, press, advance and hit. This is Dao Cha Dao Cha. Next, so Jorgong, Jorgong, following advance, left hist, fist hits out, hit by right fist for Jorgong, hit twice continuously. Next, 
Turn back, Dung Men Po. Turn around. Raise leg. Jump. Put together underneath. Ward out. Next, accelerate to jump. Raise leg. Jump. Ward off. Yang Shi Dang Huo Pa. Raise leg. Jump. Put together underneath. Ward out. There are some elbows. Jiao Lan Zhou. Draw back the leg. Jiao Lan Zhou. Draw back the leg, turn right, advance to flat elbow horizontally. Shunlan Zhou. Draw back, stretch the foot, release power by elbows to left and right. <laughs> and drill through heart elbow, draw back, advance, stick out right elbow, accelerate. <laughs> Do the three el elbow postures together for practice. <laughs> Next is Wo Di Pao. Relax the right fist, raise forward, then advance. Stretch right one more time. Put the hands together. Release power now. Do this together. <laughs> Next, turn around Jinglan Jiru. Body leads hand to turn right, jump, retreat, pull down together. Now release double elbow power. Stick out elbows when in short distance. Quickly. After that, turn around, jump, draw down. And after that is Jing Gang Dao Dui in conclusion. One, two, three, four. Then conclusion. But when performing or practice quickly. After Jing Gang Da Dao, release power. Conclusion you can raise leg immediately, stamp. Conclusion. Both methods can be used. We have finished the interpretation of this part. Now I'll demonstrate it to you.
Demonstration movement by movement has finished. Now I will demonstrate for you.